One of my favorite parts of this show is getting to meet amazing people who are pushing boundaries every day. When my next guest was born, doctors told his parents he'd never be able to walk. And 17 years later, he's won the silver medal for the 200-meter run in this year's Paralympics. Please welcome Hunter Woodhall. Thank you very much. Have a seat. Appreciate it. Thank you. How you doing, Hunter? I'm doing great. Happy to be here. It's awesome. It's wow. Everybody's a little bit blown away by you right now. I'm, and you just got out here. Hey, I'm excited. We're having a good time. So you must have worked your tail off to, to, to win both of these medals. How, how did that feel? It's hard to put into words, honestly. I mean, just like you said, so much work, so much, so much dedication, just you know, putting, putting my whole life towards this and trying to make the people proud that are supporting me. Um, as well as you know, just representing my country in that way and, and being able to represent the people that supported me that whole way, I think it was just one of, one of the greatest accomplishments. It's incredible. And, and they told you you wouldn't be able to walk, yeah. much less run, much less win at the Paralympics. I mean, was that a motivation to you? Or how did it make you feel to, to be able to prove everybody wrong? I think I saw that, that as you know, how, how I saw it as, as first when I was a kid, you know, just proving people wrong, want to prove all the disbelievers wrong. But then as I got kind of older, I realized that it's not about technically proving the disbelievers wrong, but it's about proving the people that believe in you right. You know, the people that I couldn't agree more. more. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. That's, that's such a, an interesting point. Because yeah. people often talk about, you know, the haters out there, yeah. the haters are what motivate me. I've never, I don't pay any attention to the haters. Don't worry about it. You know, just surrounding yourself with, with a great support group and the people that are going to help you get to that point. That's terrific. You know, Shriners Hospitals for Children is a nationwide network of hospitals providing excellent uh, expert special care to children regardless of a family's ability to pay. And how have they helped you in your journey? What they've done is amazing. Um, I think, you know, my whole entire life, I, I was treated as, as a kid with a disability. You know, go, growing up in school, I, I was bullied a lot because I was different. Um, and, and from the beginning, you know, Shriners took me in as a person. And they, they looked at me as a person and as an athlete. And, and they weren't there to, you know, just get me to be okay. You know, they wanted me to excel. They wanted me to succeed like a normal kid. Give me that chance to be able to do that. And, and they took me in like a family. You know, everyone at Shriners Hospitals for Children is just so connected and they really care. You sure. Know, they care about you. That's great. Hunter's mom, Barb, is here. Uh, Barb, hi. How hi. are you? As a, as a parent, what does it feel like to see your son achieve such extraordinary goals? Um, to see him winning the medals when, when he was born, we had no idea what, what his future held. Um, and we know there's greater things to come. Well, I can tell, I can tell by talking to your mom just for a few seconds that she must have been such a huge motivation to you. That's incredible. Absolutely. I mean, that's another thing is, like, like I said, just surrounding yourself with the right people. And she was right. one of the people that treated me like a normal kid, um, just, like, just like my hospital family, my, my family family. Um, just everyone was, was in such a good mindset and had such a positive attitude about it that this was hard, it was, it, was a, it was a hurdle, but we were gonna get through it, we were gonna make it to the other side. Absolutely, and what's next for you, Hunter? I'm just I'm gonna keep living life. Um, I'm, I'm really looking to go on and run in college. Um, it's a big deal for me as a disabled athlete to be able to go and run with able-bodied kids at a, at, a, at a D1 college, and then, you know, I just wanna live my life and inspire somebody. Uh, when I was a kid, you know, I didn't, I didn't know a lot of people that are going through the same situation as me, um, and that was really hard for me, so I wanna be that kid. Um, and Shriners Hospitals for Children is an amazing platform for that. You know, they, I've met so many amazing kids that, that are going through the same situation. And to be able to share what I've experienced to them and, and to maybe help them get, get through some of those hard times is so amazing. Sure. And let me tell you, uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I sure hope that in any free time that you have and going to a D1 school, it probably, you probably won't have any free time. But I sure hope that you find some time to, to do just what you're doing now to these folks yeah. and the folks at home because it's absolutely imperative with a, a man of your talent uh, and your insight yeah. to spread that word. You're doing incredible work. For more information about Shriners Hospitals for Children, go to harrytv.com. Thank you so much for being here, Hunter. Yeah. So Thank proud you. of you. We'll be right back.